Welcome to the BitSight Security Ratings Portal. Here you can view your BitSight rating, benchmark your company against your peers, and evaluate your partners and potential partners. Once you log in, you'll see the My Company page with information about your security posture. In the upper left corner, you'll notice your BitSight security rating. Similar to a credit score, a BitSight rating is on a scale from 250 to 900, with higher numbers indicating a more effective security posture. To the right of your score, you'll see a graph with your security rating history over the past year. Here you can see how your company has performed over time. Dips in the graph correspond to observed events. The blue shaded area is the range of ratings in your industry with outliers removed. Scrolling down, you'll see a summary of events and vulnerabilities observed on your network. The number of vulnerabilities this week indicates how many events were observed in the past seven days. Your past year vulnerabilities is the total number of events BitSight has observed in the previous 12 months. Your average event duration is the average number of days that passed between when BitSight first observed an event and when it was no longer visible. This graph breaks your observed vulnerabilities into risk vectors, then breaks those vectors down into specific vulnerabilities. For example, this company's largest risk vector is botnet infections, and the most frequent occurring botnet is Zeus. This map is your network footprint. This shows each country where BitSight has information about your network, as well as the density of IP addresses we've observed. The darker country, the more IP addresses we've seen there that belong to your company. Here is your Sender Policy Framework, or SPF, record. This panel shows if your primary domain is susceptible to email spoofing. More information about SPF can be found by clicking Read More. Using the tabs on the top navigation bar, you can see more details about your events. Selecting risk vectors will take you to a graph of your security effectiveness broken down into five risk categories. Botnet infections indicates that a device on your network is part of a botnet. If spam email is originating from your network, you will see that in the spam propagation risk vector. Likewise, if a server on your network is hosting malware, this will be shown in malware servers. Potentially exploited indicates that a device on your network may have been hijacked by an illegal third-party exploit, such as a Trojan horse. Unsolicited communications means that a device on your network is attempting to communicate with a server that isn't providing any useful services. This often happens when malicious software is seeking for other devices to infect. A risk vector of 100 shows that your company is very effective in preventing against this type of risk. Any vector less than 100 indicates at least one event of that type. For example, the company has a risk of 80 in the botnet category. The event distribution tab brings you to a graph of the typical event duration or the time between when an event was first observed and when it was last seen. Ideally, the majority of events will be resolved in under three days. The event details tab plots the number of events per month in each category for the past year. The size of the bubble corresponds to the average event duration. To see more detailed information about your network footprint, or to suggest modifications to your IP ranges, go to the My IP Addresses tab. This will bring you to a list of IP addresses BitSight has associated with your company. Here you can suggest additional addresses or provide feedback about existing ones. Now that you've seen how to use the BitSight security ratings, explore the portal and learn about your company's security effectiveness.